Hello everyone, welcome to a small terrible channel. Today we are going to have module 3 of quarter 2. So let's open it first. Let's double click go to be reader or the other way of opening it is right click then select open. So all you have to do is you're going to select this open EPUB file and the file that I am going to send to you and for those who I, whom I have shared already just click the file that I have sent to you you of course have to download it first then open okay pag hindi mag prompt yung please wait do it again So from the yung please wait. So let's just wait. So ito na pala yung book cover. Alright. So ito na pala yung book cover sa second uh, quarter natin. So first quarter is yung pure green na may yellow. Alright, so I changed it when Pero kapag ibigay ko sa inyo yung second quarter, may first quarter na kasama. Alright, so complete na ito. So dito na tayo sa module 3. Click lang natin. Alright, at lakihan natin. Para mas makita ng buong buong. Alright, so ito pala yung title natin sa module 3, From Cell to Organism. So, nakikita ninyo ito. So, napakaganda ng ano, no? cartoon character. Kung gusto ninyong malaman kung paano ko ito ginawa, mag-comment lang kayo sa baba. Alright, at isama ko sa next tutorial ko. Alright, so in this module, you will learn to describe the different levels of biological organization from cell to biosphere. So, ito ang most essential learning competency na ibinigay sa amin ni DepEd na, i, na we followed since we started making this module. Para pala sa iba na hindi gusto mag-online class, meron tayong... Um, soft copy para sa modular class. So, it's purely learner's homemade or learner's home task. Alright? So, mag-comment lang kayo sa baba kung gusto ninyo ng soft copy sa learner's home task na pang modular learning. Kasi may mga uri tayo ng uh, way para makapasok sa um, school year 2020-2021 my online my distance learning my modular yung ibigay lang namin mga guru yung learner's home task sa inyong mga bahay at kunin lang at the end of the week yata alright so kung gusto ninyo ng soft copy noon magsabi lang kayo sa baba alright so we have the objectives. At the end of this module, you identify the different levels of organization in an organism. Tell the parts that make up each level of organization and their functions. And show willingness to describe how the parts that make up a level of organization affect the higher levels of organization and the entire organism. And then we have the unlocking of difficulties. We have the cell, that means basic unit of life, tissue, the group of cells, organ, group of tissues, organ system, group of organs, organism, any living thing. May it be a plant, animals, right? humans. Then we have the pretest. Okay, so the students have to answer this first to check their prior knowledge. Alright, so the smallest level of organization of life. Smallest, alright, so my, my smallest pa dito. So you need to select the best, alright? 
that's just Alright, so let's try to answer. Okay, so we got number one incorrect. So the correct answer is cellular level pala. Yes, where the characteristic of life emerges. It says where the characteristic of life emerges. So ito sa atomic level, hindi pa nag-emerge yung life dito. Alright, so dapat basahin talaga ng todo. Do smallest level yung atomic pero wala pa doon yung characteristic of life nag-emerge. And, sa number 4 naman, hindi tayo nagbasa ng maigi, no? So, take note sa lahat ng ano dito yung stem sa cactus is green, no? So, doon siya nag, uh, na chop yung energy from the sun. Alright. So, you need to really read it well. Magha-highlight yung especially sa mga estudyante. Um, Magha-highlight yung correct answer pagkatapos. I-clear lang natin yung answer at mag-proceed tayo sa next. So, image carousel tayo. So, the following are the images of the biological levels of organizations. I-click lang natin. Ang laki, no? So, ito is the biosphere. Then, we have this one, the ecosystem. Then, we have the community. This is the picture of the community. The population. The organism, the organ system, this should be the organ, right? The tissue, the cell, uh, the molecule, and the atom. Right, so... I just have to edit this one. Hindi siya nag, ano, baka may namali ako kanina sa paggawa nito. Anyway, slight, slight, ano lang manaman, mistake. I have to correct this later on. Alright, so, proceed tayo sa text page. Okay, just... Let's just Punta na tayo sa next page. Just click on the picture below. And you have this pair matching. So, ito. You have to click on the succeeding organ, organism box para mag-highlight siya kung tama yung. Alright. But hindi siya mag-highlight. Ay, kasi hindi ito organism, no? Organ system. Organism. Alright, so at magsabi siyang congratulations kapag tama yung uh, answers ninyo. Clear lang natin at proceed tayo sa next page. So, dito, um, nakalagay yung mga dapat ninyong malaman tungkol sa discussion natin. So, basahin lang ninyo ito at nandito lahat, no? Nandito lahat yung kinakailangan ninyo sa from cell to organism na topic. So, your task is just to read, read, read. Then next, we have this application of what we have learned. Click lang ang picture. So, the basic unit of life. So, you have to look for 
yeah just uh, highlight the word that you can see then a living thing right so maubos ang oras natin dito kasi hindi ako masyadong expert sa paghahanap ng mga <laughs> hahanapin alright so um, ito ay para sa mga estudyante natin para sila ay maaliw sa while learning Okay, so magsasabi rin lang ito na congratulations kapag nahanap niyo lahat na pinapahanap. Right, so proceed na tayo sa next page. Okay, challenge accepted. Ito ang task natin. So, magbigay lang kayo ng isang organ na shared by two or more body systems. So, example, yung mouth natin. Are, uh, the mouth is shared by digestive and respiratory systems. So, magbigay lang kayo ng tatlong organ. May answer ito doon sa answer key part. Dito sa answer key part ng module na ito. Next lang tayo. Dito na tayo sa post-test. Which of the following is storage cell? Alright, so, so kapag submit natin ang answer, mag-highlight na yung correct answers. Okay? Kahit hindi kayo mag-answer, kapag i-click nyo itong submit answers, magha-highlight na yung correct answer. Alright? So, napakadali, no? And dito, okay, sa glossary natin, then, yes, these are the possible answers of the organs that are share that is shared or that are shared by two systems. So, pancreas, for example, uh, shared by endocrine and digestive systems, pharynx, respiratory and digestive systems, then the testes or the ovaries, endocrine and reproductive systems, and many more. There are so many or are still a lot of organs shared by two systems. So, these are the references that, uh, and then we have, um, um, we have four modules to go. Module 4, 5, 6, 7. And we're done with our quarter two modules. So, thank you so much. And I hope you have um, appreciated this work. And if you want a soft copy, uh, feel free to comment down below. And... Uh, for the information of everybody, I am going to distribute these quarter two modules if matapos na tayo sa uh, lahat ng modules. So, sa ngayon, ang ipamimigay natin ay soft copy muna sa quarter one. Kasi tapos na yun. Natapos ko na lahat from module one up to module five. Ngayon sa uh, quarter two, ang natapos natin ay module one, two, and three pa. May uh, module 4, 5, 6, 7 pa tayo na gagawin. So, thank you so much and I hope you like this um, presentation. And see you on my next next presentation of my work. Alright? And, huwag pala ninyong uh, kalimutan, may part po pa tayo sa comics kung saan i-present ko na pala yung aking work alright and um, tuturuan ko rin kayo kung paano yun uh, paano yun i-view at paano yun ma-view alright so thank you so much thank you for being with a small terrible channel bye bye